Hello, in this video we'll see how to share our live location on Google Map. This is a very useful feature and I thought you might find it useful. Uh, there are some useful scenarios which we can think of like for parents to track and locate their children's location maybe if they go to college or school or even for couples if they are traveling often you can see each other's location instead of calling uh, each other where we are. So by using this feature, we can see each other's location uh, for a limited time or for uh, until you turn it off. And this has been very useful in my case, uh, where we can see uh, our partner's location. So let's open Google Maps. And yes, many of us are already familiar with how to use Google Maps, especially for day-to-day -day, uh, navigation and traffic awareness in our locality. Uh, but we can use there are some other features which we can use uh, in addition to the regular uh, usage of Google Maps such as location sharing is one which I'll show you now uh, you need to tap on the Google account logo for uh, location sharing tap on the location sharing and to share your location tap on the share location and you need to find the contact person with whom you want to share but first we need to allow some permissions so just follow the instructions on the screen and allow whatever permission is necessary by the app so as you can see here we can share our location for a limited period or until you turn it off so if you're doing this between your uh, between husband and wife or between your children then you can leave it at until you turn it off the next thing that we need to do is to find the contact person to whom we want to share the uh, location. So you can go here and just type the name and uh, select the contact person. Uh, remember the person should be using a Google account or Google map. Uh, I'll just type a name here. And then select the account and then tap on send so oops i denied the permission this will be required because uh, google maps will be needing your uh, movement locations so I'll do this again until you turn this off and then I'll find the contact. After entering the contact, I will tap on send and then I will allow this permission. And it may ask for more permissions. Google map needs location access okay I have turned off location access on this phone so I will enable it go to settings and allow all the time uh, yes I will allow notifications okay my phone is using battery saver but it is asking me to turn this off so I'll turn it off and I'll go back and I think that's all that is necessary it should send the uh, location sharing alert to the person so yeah so the person too can now see and also share location back to this person if he feels so so if you're doing this between your family members then you can obviously share both ways so that you can see each other's location so you can also request this or the other person can also initiate the same. So now I am in phone two and I can see a notification here that somebody has shared live location on Google map. And when I go, I can see the person's location. Okay. 
So this way we can see the person's uh, location and if this person moves then I will also be able to see the live location. If the connectivity is really good you should be able to see live movements but if that is not the case then you can also refresh so that you can see an updated location. Now let's see how to share location back to the person. So uh, share location back is just at the bottom here you can choose the required settings for a limited period or until you turn it off. I'll just leave it at until you turn it off and now you have shared your location to the person who have shared the location to you earlier. So now both can see each other's location if they open Google Maps and go to location sharing. Okay. Now till here we have completed the setup. Now how to see the person's live location on Google Map? You just have to open Google Maps and tap on the Google account logo and then go to location sharing and you should be able to see the person's location automatically. Now if you have done this for multiple persons then you need to tap on the person's name below and see the person's location. And not only the person's location, you are able to see the location, you are able to see the distance uh, from you, battery status and when the location was last tracked. And if you, if required, you can also tap on directions and go to the person. I am in the same location, so that makes no sense. But yes, if you are in an unfamiliar city and you want a direction to the person, then you can also tap on directions. Uh, there is also a feature to add notifications to alert you when the person crosses a certain uh, pos uh, position on the map. But I will cover this in the next video. But just a tip that yes, you can enable notifications. Now, if you don't want to come to Google Map each time you want to see the location, then you can also add a shortcut to the home screen. Just tap on the person and the menu and you can add a shortcut to home screen. So the next time you want to see this person's location, you can just tap on the shortcut icon and then come directly to Google Map location sharing. And that's where you will see the person. So that's all. Uh, like we have discussed, uh, there are some benefits if you want to use this feature. Uh, for example, you have children, they are using phones, uh, maybe they go to school or college and you want to know their location while you are at work. Or you can also do this uh, between uh, your uh, wife or your husband. If you are traveling often, it may be useful to know the location. And uh, instead of calling each other up, you can just look at the location sharing. You can also use this to find the last location of your phone in case of loss. Um, of course the battery should not be dead and uh, there should be connectivity of course uh, you can also use this to find directions to the person in case you are in an unfamiliar city and you got separated uh, someone is shopping someone is sightseeing or something like that and you want to go back to the person then you can just open Google Maps location sharing and you'll be able to get direction to the person as well um, I there might be other practical uh, uh, scenarios where you can use this so that's all in this video I hope you liked it if you liked it please share like and subscribe to this channel thank you